In this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to insert new rows, columns, and individual cells. In Microsoft Excel, there are 10,048,576 rows and 16,384 columns. You're able to insert new rows, columns, and cells, but it won't add to the number of rows or columns in the worksheet. When you insert a new row, column, or cell, Excel will simply delete the last row, column, or cell in the worksheet if the last row, column, or cell is empty. If there is a row, column, or cell that is non-blank, then you will have to clear the content and formats in the column, row, or cell first. How to insert a single row or column. You can right-click the column letter or row number in the column or row where you want to insert a new row or column. From the shortcut menu, click Insert, and a new row or column will be inserted before the row or column where you right-clicked. Another way is to click on the row number or the column letter and click on the Insert command, which is located in the ribbon in the Home tab under Cells. How to insert multiple rows and columns. To insert multiple rows or columns, select a range of entire rows or columns. Then right-click inside the range of row numbers or column letters and click Insert from the shortcut menu. The number of rows or columns you selected will be the number of rows or columns inserted. If you select four rows, then you will insert four rows. Another way to insert multiple rows or columns is to select a range of entire rows or columns and then click on the Insert command, which is located on the ribbon in the Home tab under Cells. How to insert individual cells. You can also insert individual cells instead of entire rows and columns. To do this, you will activate the cell where you want to insert a new cell and click the down arrow on the Insert command. When you click the down arrow on the Insert command, a drop-down menu will appear. Select Insert Cells and the Insert dialog box will appear offering you options to either shift cells to the right, shift cells down, or insert an entire row or column. Since we're concerned about inserting only a cell, we would choose either shift cells down or shift cells right and then click OK. Note, Excel does not allow you to insert individual cells and tables. This is because cells and tables are related to each other and by inserting an individual cell you would most likely ruin the table.